Should we get rid of our fifth wheel camper and trade it in for a Class A motorhome? Help us decide. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. Well, we're like pushing past fear right now, aren't we? We have some decisions to make and we hope you can help us with that. We have had a fifth wheel now for over a year, year and a half, and our current one we've had for exactly a year. And we're pondering, would we be better off in a Class A? Neither one of us has owned a Class A. But we're intrigued by it. I mean, I know the benefit right off, having had a camper van, is that when you're driving down the road, the other person can fix the sandwich, take a nap, go to the bathroom. I know about that. And I also think, and this is where neither one of us are sure, I think a Class A is more nimble. So it takes us about an hour to pack up and, you know, and to set up camp. Mm -hmm. One thing we thought about is maneuverability and the ability to park the rig. Um, I find that it's challenging sometimes to park a 35-foot fifth wheel. I can't even imagine a 40-foot or 42 foot fifth wheel. I see them out there, but uh, no thanks. Yeah, we're thinking that a class A, I mean, they're, you know, what we'd be looking at would be 38, 40 feet. Because you're steering it, that you're able to back into a site better. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't, there's no articulation between the truck and the trailer, so you don't have to think about, you know, turning the wheel left to have the trailer go right and, and vice versa. But um, I, having no experience, I mean, I've driven buses in parking lots. I'm not really driven with a bus for a living, but I have driven a few around parking lots and, and I found it pretty easy to do. So I suspect that that's very similar to driving an A. Well, we were about 55 feet long when we're hooked up and we've gotten ourselves into some really tight situations. And the beauty of having a class A and having a tow to the car behind is you unhitch the car when you're maneuvering. So you're instantly shorter. Yeah. I have no trouble backing up a trailer. I mean, I've done it enough in my life that, that I'm comfortable doing it. But I'm just thinking that that a Class A might just make that process a little less stressful. And then when you're at a location, and we spend two to three weeks at any one spot, and we do a lot of day trips, I see one of the benefits of a Class A is having a toad that gets better gas mileage than than our diesel truck. We're not looking at getting a gas model Class A. We, we would definitely go into it, the diesel pusher category. And then the gas mileage is what, six or eight or nine miles to the gallon? Yeah, probably maybe. between six and eight. Right. But then we'd make up for that if we stay in place two to three weeks having a littler vehicle. Yeah. Another advantage of a Class A motorhome would be if you're stuck somewhere, if you're driving down the interstate and there's bad weather or there's a big traffic jam and you are stuck, well, you can just get up and get something to eat. Yeah. You don't have to look for a bathroom or, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, you've got everything in the space that you're sitting in. That's what I've always heard, actually, is if you're, if you're going to travel a lot, you want an A. If you're going to go to places where you're going to stay for periods of time, and I don't know, that, that's kind of an open-ended um, statement. I mean, what's... You know what's a period of time is two to three weeks a period of time or does that fall more into the traveling a lot we also know that that with class a's they tend to have a higher level build quality interior wise you know the trim pieces don't fall off like they do <laughs> in, in in trailers and fifth wheels and and if you've watched our previous video you 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 know <laughs> we about have to that. put stuff back together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the class A to me feels like a lot lot better residential quality, more solid. Right. But can you even get like a kitchen like what we have with an island in a I class A? I mean, I don't know. I've can you heard, get a big sink? I've heard that there are now class A's with islands, but I haven't seen any. Yeah. Well, our neighbors had a big sink, but I don't know if that's that was, that was added though. Yeah. Remember they said that that was something that the previous owner had put in. And the thing about a class A is there's no flexibility in the floor plan. The bedroom is always in the back and the bathroom's either in front of it or behind it. That's it. With a fifth wheel, you have so many more choices. You can have bedroom or bathroom in the back, dining room, kitchen, 
living room, even a bunkhouse in the back. So one of the things that we feel that the fifth wheel absolutely rocks it on is the views. My goodness, when we're park stationary, we're all windows people often come in and talk about how we really have great window views and a lot of fifth wheels are like that. Now, almost all, if not all, class A diesel pushers, I mean, they don't have a window in the back. No. And the bedroom's in the back anyway. So if you're backed into a lake or a mountain view or any kind of view, how do you enjoy it? I mean... Well, when... you don't enjoy it from inside the rig. You have to go outside, which, you know, that's what this life is about, is going outside and exploring. But, but yeah, I mean, here we've got windows on both sides and the rear and, and you know, I'm looking out the window at mountains right here. We do also know that our living space is bigger. You know, our slides are deeper, our ceilings are taller, I can't touch the ceiling. Um, so that has a real open feeling and it feels right. more house-like because we have an upstairs to our bedroom. Right, yes. If you've watched our video recently, you know that we have some roof damage. Well, we actually are going to be able to get a roof put on here at the campground or at a campground wherever yeah, and, we are. Yeah, wherever we decide to have it done, yeah. And yeah. we talked to our neighbors who had a, they had a Newmar, right? Mm -hmm. And they make a once a year trip to the Newmar factory. Yeah, to and, to uh, Indi Indiana. Yeah. To get work done. And it, if something seriously goes wrong with your Class A, you are going to lose your home because it has to go into a shop. And that's concerning. Mm -hmm. For us, you know, if something seriously goes wrong with our home, obviously we, we would lose our home. But most of the things that happen are not serious. Right you now. Because no. there's no engine in it. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, we, we everything we've had to work on or that I've had to work on has been trim related. And... and uh, Except for the roof, we're going to have to hire somebody to do that. Right, but they're going to do it in the campground. Right. So, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, I don't think that there's a lot of work that can be done on a Class A in the campground. No, I suspect that that's, that's shop work. And it's like if something happened to the truck, I mean, I could change oil, although I don't do that too much anymore because I don't want to get in trouble in the campgrounds. They don't want you working on your... He has done it. Though. I have done it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, but if something serious goes wrong with our truck, we would have to stay in a campground and we could rent a car and get around, but it would be less inconvenient than if something went wrong with our Class A right. and we lost it. Then what do we do? We'd have to go in a hotel yeah, or something. Yeah, then we'd be looking at the hotel bill. We know of two full-time couples. They have just recently switched from a Class A to a, to a trailer. Well, in one case, an Airstream, and in another case, uh, a fifth wheel. Maybe but, we're doing it wrong. Maybe we shouldn't switch. Yeah, maybe. I mean, if people are going from Class A to fifth wheels, you know, it's not like we can go out and buy a brand new Class A. No, I mean, those are no. like $400,000. Oh, yeah. we're not in that. We're <laughs> yeah, let me yeah. be clear. We're not in that category. We're looking in the used market. Well, let us know in the comments your thoughts, particularly if you have a motorhome or a Class A, if you have experience with that. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, we would. I, uh, I would love to have some input on this on this subject. It's a big decision. Yeah, it is. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. What about here? I like this space.